Photoshop for amateur photographers. Is that a group of videos that amateurs would find useful and appealing? Where do we start on a project like that? And why do we choose Photoshop as our image editor? Well, the truth is we don't have to choose Photoshop. There are very many others around, but Photoshop is where my expertise lies. But remember, image editing is rather like driving a car. Your driving technique is much the same for any make of car you drive. It's very much the same with image editing. All image editors have much the same capabilities. It's not the software that determines what editing your image needs. It's the image itself, the exposure, lighting conditions, the content, etc. Photoshop and Lightroom are part of Adobe's Creative Cloud. Creative Cloud is like a portal, and from there we can pay and download the software we want from Adobe's extensive portfolio. From within the Creative Cloud app, we join a monthly subscription and the software can be downloaded and installed on our computer. Amateur photographers, particularly those who join camera clubs, are mostly using Photoshop and Lightroom. And as they are both from the same creator, they have a great many similarities in their use. And they all come to us as a photographer's package. Why have I called this series Photoshop for Amateur Photographers? It's to enable me to sidestep many of the complexities of Photoshop that we just don't need right now, if ever at all. Now the idea here is to make our introduction into the software as practical and as agreeable as possible. These videos will assume that we're all shooting raw images. We have to really, because raw images have too many advantages to ignore. I often think of a raw image being like a Word document, very flexible. But a JPEG image being exactly the same document, but in print form. Both of them are the same set of words on a page, but the Word doc is hugely flexible when we open it up, but a printed document isn't. We can change the printed document, but it's a lot harder to do, and those changes are almost certain to impact the quality of the document. Photoshop is made up of three programs. Bridge, Adobe Camera Raw, often seen as ACR for short, and of course Photoshop. Bridge is our browser. It's generally where we start, where we find, sort, label, manage, and open our images. When we launch a raw image from Bridge, Adobe Camera Raw will open up automatically. This is our raw image editor, and it's where most of the magic is done. Adobe Camera Raw will only open up when we access a raw image. It's not a freestanding program. I will avoid technical explanations as far as I possibly can throughout these videos because it really helps our practical learning and anyone who wants that level of detail has Google at their disposal. The majority of our editing is repetitive and it will become a routine, which is a good thing to aspire to. Learning anything in life, particularly Photoshop, is best done little and often. Cramming large amounts of information is rarely any help. My role in these videos is to introduce as much information as I think we need at any one stage. But I don't know my listeners as individuals. Now while I'll try to avoid it, at some stage I'm almost certain to assume a knowledge that you don't have. So there has to be an opportunity to clarify some aspects of what we're talking about. I think the best way to do that is for you to reach me via my contact page from my website. 
I was recently talking to a few amateur photographers who were struggling quite a bit with the basics of image editing. I discovered that they were even unsure what Creative Cloud was and how they could go about getting Photoshop or Lightroom onto their computer. This conversation was what gave me the idea to consider these short videos. Google Adobe Creative Cloud and you'll find this page. It may vary slightly from country to country. If you click Buy Now or here, Your Creative Cloud, you'll see the photography package. Now on my computer, it's picking up that I'm already a paid up member, so it's not taking me instantly to the page that you may see. But it is a straightforward online purchase. But at some stage, you will have to download the Creative Cloud app. And your purchase photography plan software can then be downloaded and installed from within Creative Cloud. Here's the icon here. Now my experience of this is very simple. Just click install of Photoshop and walk away from your computer for a few minutes. On return, your software will be fully installed and you can select the next bridge, for example. Here, Photoshop is not giving me an install button because of course it's recognizing that I'm already a member and my version of Photoshop is not only installed, but fully up to date as you can see shown in the middle of the screen. So if short focused videos of this nature appeal to you, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and YouTube will tell you whenever I post a new video. Oh yes, and a bit of feedback is always nice to get, especially ideas on what you want to see. I'll see you in video two.